my god! I'm back! Oh, it feels so good to be back here with all of you. Uh, welcome back to another exciting episode of Space Engineers, and I have something super awesome to show you. First, I want to say, I won my very first tournament battle. I haven't won the tournament yet. But I'm on my way. Unfortunately, I totally blanked on recording and I didn't even take that opportunity to record the fight, even though I was going to. But I had a lot of fun doing it and I hope you believe me. So because I've already done the battle and it's already shown in the tournament, I thought I'd do a little breakdown on my ship and uh, show you all what it's all about. So join me and together we shall interpret my ship. Mm. So here it is, the Chalk Barracuda. Yes, I know I've made uh, ships with the same name before, but uh, I feel like I wanted a good frigate for the Chalk Army. And I thought it gave me a little inspiration to kind of work within the tournament guidelines and uh, see if I could build a ship uh, pr pretty good like f for the tournament. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, it actually had a pretty close to being finished interior, but I actually had to scrap everything because uh, it was going over the PCU limit. It actually started to go over the block limit, so I just decided, you know what, uh, I'm going to scrap the interior uh, just so I could submit it. And like in true Tronk fashion, I completely forgot to save it with the good interior. So there's absolutely no interior right now. Like there is like an entrance and everything. Like as you can see here, this is technically where the airlock is. And there was a piston below with a connector, extends out, all, same kind of classic uh, airlock feature I usually have on all my ships. And even up here where this block is right here, uh, where the bridge is, that also had an emergency airlock. So you could just, and just kind of ease of access um, entrance way so that you can get into the cockpit very easily. Um, but yeah, here it is. It's really cool. And something that I try that I don't normally do is I made the center section two blocks sit thick and mirrored. So it gave it a more blade like shape. So like on most triangular shaped, uh, ships I would make, uh, usually I have just one block on the middle and then, uh, one on the top, one on the bottom. But you can see that for the middle of it, it's pretty much just like two blocks. Uh, so nothing can really go in between there, but it gives me a lot of room on the inside um, to add interiors if I want to. Now, something that the ship has or would have is a hanger right in the bottom down here. But of course, because of the PCU limit, I actually had to take that away and I just added this kind of caved in area, but it was just like a big uh, like hangar space so that ships could fly in and then in here, you it was deck it, again it was decorated it looked really nice um they could fly in here uh this column wasn't actually there it was pushed back here um so it could connect up easier and still have space and then i would have like a landing space here um the gyros here are just kind of placed because i needed some extra dry gyros for like the movement of the ship but i actually have this kind of cool looking area so all the internal thrusts or some of them are, exp are are visible from the inside. So like you could look at that and while the ship's flying and maneuvering, these would be going. It kind of, it's cool. Also, also the reactors are right above it. So this is kind of like the reactor room slash engine room. Uh, you don't have any access in there, but it was more of just an aesthetic thing. I wanted to add that. So from the hangar, if we actually come up inside here, you'll notice that we have this area here, which would have been a commons area, maybe some sort of like sleeping area at the front or like a crew quarters. Then coming back into here, we have more gyroscopes, which are again, very plain and lazy. And maybe, or maybe this would be the commons area or maybe med bay and like uh, a comms array kind of area somewhere over there. And then if you come up and you look up here, the cockpit is in the center because I wanted it kind of hidden. And there's two beacons, but these beacons and programmable block um we needed to have that for the chomp tournament so that's just why these are all clustered here because that was like the cockpit and then continuing up we would be in the bridge and this is actually where you would be flying the ship uh again yeah it's pretty exposed from the outside like 
a, it's it's a bridge it's right there obviously you can shoot it destroy the ship uh have no controls and everything but i i really do like that star destroyer aesthetic of like having a very it's right there the bridge is right there it's a, a very battleship-esque kind of look so um i like that i kind of like that look so i wanted to keep that with this cock frigate but let's focus more on the exterior because honestly the exterior of the ship is what i was really focusing on now it's not like a Star Destroyer copy, so to speak. Maybe you could say it's like reminiscent of the Gladiator or maybe the Victory Class Star Destroyer. Um, not incorporating the sizes, obviously, because those are massive. But this frigate is kind of like triangular shaped and I wanted it to stray away, be a little different. So I added these reverse thrusters or like kind of wing areas. And if you notice that I use these half blocks to make it look like it's just one single block thick sticking out, and again, having these recessed areas adds a lot of detail, makes the ship look more refined, if that makes sense, more chiseled, and I like that. I'm starting to get better with my building, and uh, I'm adding better and better things. You'll notice that I also have like a, an assortment of different colors. I have this purpley, well, it's the same colors that I had on the Chonk middle class frigate that I built. Um, so we've got this blue, very vibrant, very like in your face, whatever, but you know, the Chonk army is destined to set out there for help and, and salvation. So we want everyone to know that they're coming because we're here to help and we're not afraid of anything. <laughs> so that's very visible all over the ship. Then we have these nice white accent strips here for the ship. Again, just another color to kind of like give uh, depth to the ship maybe different layers. We also have this like lighter gray section on the top, which is kind of like the gun deck. Uh, it's the same on the bottom. I turn on my light. Yep, we have this light gray area. And then we have a darker gray, kind of representing like the core or like the greebly sectioned areas, but it's hard to add greebles and have like a continuous slope without like getting rid of all the actual angles or whatever like if this ship was a little bit bigger than or like thicker i could add like greebles and still have that inclined slope but uh i'm still very happy with the way it turned out now something that i'm super impressed with which is, is the style of engine that i went with i kind of made the whole ship you know start very narrow and gradually get thicker to this massive driving engine and it's pretty fast it's not too fast because it is like kind of taken up by two large ions where I could probably use one or two hydrogen thrusters but I wanted to mix up the engines because I want this ship to be you know uh able to run and not have to hold like fully rely on all the hydrogen unfortunately though I don't have hydrogen and ion pointing in every direction um as you can see I do have up and downward thrust with both hydrogen and ion but on the side all i have for side thrust is hydrogen so if my hydrogen goes i can't move left and right but i can back up i can drive forward i can go up and i can go down um, something to keep in mind when i'm actually editing the ship to make it look beautiful that video will come at some point but yeah, I don't know if I'm overreacting with it, but I just, I'm so pleased with the way this engine turned out. You know, it's all, it's technically all airtight. Uh, nothing can escape, like, like it's all sealed, like pressurized on the inside. Uh, and it looks really good. I really like these recessed areas. I added this kind of column in the middle just for greeblies, just adding a little bit of design. Maybe I could add more, like the, now that they have these like new pipework blocks, I could probably like add something different like maybe like something like that right like you see all these pipes exposed uh looks very cool these are really good for greeblies i'm i'm looking forward to using that more in my ships just to add a little more detail although i do kind of like that uh cylindrical like kind of look so i might just keep it like that now here's just a comparison of the middle class corvette and the chonk barracuda class frigate um, just to get some similarities, you know, we have these angled shapes. This is kind of what the Chonk army is going to go after. We're going to try and replicate a lot of those like triangular shapes for their ships. And the color is going to stay the same. we got those purple highlights and everything. Uh, obviously, there's a, in my opinion, there's a lot more detail in this uh, Corvette, which I'm really pleased with. But 
I'm still super happy with the way that uh, this frigate turned out. And it they both complement each other perfectly, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you like this, like, simple little just talking about my ship and the ideas that came to my mind while building. And let me know what you think I should build next for the Tronk Army. We've got a Corvette. We've got a frigate. Um, I'm looking to make a fighter. But even some other ideas. Maybe, like, transports. Maybe civilian ships. Maybe... Ex uh, uh. Maybe some, like, exploration ships for the Tronk Army. Obviously, as I'm building these ships, I am still working on my Tandari Empire to combat the Tronk Army. But I can always use more ideas for other builds. Anyways, the tournament was a blast. It was so much fun. I'm excited to move on to the next bracket. I can't wait. Uh, thank you again, Russell, for making that possible. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go down to the description down below it's down there go look at it and check out the chalk server it's great i love it i love all the stuff on it and yeah i can't talk about it any more than i already have but that's all i have for today stay tuned for the next video and once again this has been your lord playing space engineers now signing out <laughs>